Fearless Gamers, Matt here for Fearless Games, and today we're doing another unboxing. This time we're going to be doing the Horse Heresy Betrayal at Kaltham box set. This is a standalone miniature game that takes place in the 31st millennia. It's basically, the, as most people have been calling it, the Horse Heresy box set. Um, it is, this describes, it's a depictal of a battle between the word bearers and the ultramarines at, ult, at um, Kalth. And it's a full-on battle box game like um, Space Hulk. Comes with a whole bunch of minis that are all decked out into the horse heresy themed. <coughs> Excuse me. And supposedly, from what I've been hearing, if you guys haven't heard yet, um, some really awesome news came out. They are doing... Um, they created a new studio that supposedly made this game called the Specialist Design Team, which or Specialist Design Studio, which is supposedly going to made this box set. It's making revamp and making a bunch more. They said that this is not the last of this series of box sets, so we may have more famous battles that maybe Forge World won't be going over as in detail or stuff like that. And they said they'll also be working on like bringing back the Specialist Games, which is awesome. But that's for another video. We're going to then now look at this. So in this box, we get a 48-page rulebook, four double-sided si board tiles, 42 reference, 42 reference command and damage cards, and assorted card counters, and 12 dice. We get 38 miniatures in this. We get a captain for the Ultramarines, a chaplain for the word bearers, um, a contemptor dread, uh, 30 Tactical Mar um, Legion Marines in Mark IV armor, and 5 Legion Terminators in, I would assume, Cataphraki armor. So, going to pop right into this thing right now, um, and see what exactly is inside. And as you see, after you get this shrink wrap off of it, So we get this box, and then it's actually fairly hefty. This weighs quite a bit. Um, so you already you could just tell that you're getting quite a bit out of this guy. So we first get our first command sprue. Um, this has the Ultramarines HQ, and it looks like bits for the... Um, this looks like it's actually a double piece. This is the Ultramarines commander, and there's the um, Ward Bearer's chapl chaplain. Yeah, there he is um, on this piece. So, as you can see, it has really nice detail in there um, going on. It's a little bit confusing. I don't like it when they do this where they combo like two characters together because I end up mixing bits together. Thankfully, one's in power armor, one's in terminator armor, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out which is which. And then we then got... Um, Let's see, we're going to pull out all the different sprues, match them up, that way we're not showing like the same sprue like 60 times. Okay, do 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 do. So, looks like we've got this one sprue with a bunch of backpacks, there's a plasma pistol um, down here, bunch of different heads, chest plates and ch um, chest pieces, a melt -a bomb a couple of frag grenades. Uh, according to what I did, according to the White Dwarf, what we get is, is we get a total of like 39 heads, 30 bolters, and three of every special weapon that can be equipped on these guys, which is really awesome because then you basically got yourself a fully upgradable, fully customizable set of units. Um, 30 troop guys basically. So here we got some legs. There l looks to be the heavy bolter right there. We've got power fist, bunch of bolters. Um, I'm going to assume that's the melt -a gun. And there's a combi bolter with a melt plasma gun, melt -a gun, flamer, bunch of different arms, and they're using like the newer sprue piece where the hand's connected to the bolter and then you just connect the bolter to the corresponding hand. Um, let's see now, this one, same as the last sprue. This one here is your Terminator sprue. We've got 
uh, heavy flamer, chain sword, cha um, chain sword, chain fist, chain fist. Um, looks like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five sets of lightning claws, um, shoulder pads. And they got the co the bolter, the storm bolters or the combi bolters um, that are there and bunch of terminators there all seems to be on one sprue for this one and what's really neat is is they did cut off the left leg or the left or the right leg on each of the um marines so you can position the foot a little bit better to get more of that dynamic posing that you want got a power sword right here um power fists a lot of really cool things on here and the detail work on them is actually really really good um so you can see like the overlapping plates. It's really cool. Different backpack. Or let's there we go. And then we've got the helmets right up there. A lot of really nice fine detail in this set. You can tell that they really put some effort into making this the best that they possibly can. Can could I'm mixing up words the best that they possibly could with this. So we've got also this setup. These are all your troops. We've got a power sword, missile launcher, plasma gun, um, flamer. Oh, there's the heavy bolter. There's the other piece of the heavy bolter. Chain sword and more bodies, shoulder pads, legs. They've got um, combat knives, which are ridiculous. Well, those are look more like swords to me. Um, ridiculously huge, but they're um, like sheathed, so they can be attached to them, so they're not actually armed with the sword, but they still have it on them. And what's really cool is, is they actually make the lightning claw piece separate, sort of like in the um, Forge World Terminator um, weapon option set, where the power fist is designed to either be a power fist or you slap this on and becomes a power claw, which I think is a really cool idea. Um... And see, you get the same amount of detail work as you do with um, um, Forge World or regular GW stuff. And the kit is decked out to the nines, just like any of the... Um, there's the missile launcher there, piece there. Um, decked out the same way that they would do a, um, a regular Space Marine kit. So... It's not snap fit, it's not cut down in detail. They pretty much treated it as what it what they would be doing if they were selling these individually or as a pack, like they just decided to make plastic troops for horse heresy. So you get three of the same sprue with all this crazy looking stuff. What I kinda like actually, my probably my favorite part on this um piece as of right now is um let me just see if I can catch it is um I like how the there it is how the heavy bolter looks I like if you see here he holds it on um, above the heavy bolter like a like a gun um well more like the other ones they kind of look like they're just like holding like um mini guns where this one kind of looks like it's a almost like an underslung terminator heavy bolter which I really like that look a lot um and, of course, being Dark Angel player, love those plasma guns. Um, and we also see on some of the kits, um, this doesn't appear to be on all of them because they have the one extra sprue, most likely, and that's why. They threw in more the other combi bolter here, which is you get three of each of those. You get basically three of every special weapon, 30 of every generic weapon, and nine extra heads for the um, commanders and extra troop guys. And then we've got the Plastic Contemptor Dread sprue right here. Downside, he's like most Dreadnoughts in these box sets, he's stuck in the one pose in terms of, you know, his legs and his body. You can't really do much to him unless you're good with a hobby knife and you cut him to pieces. Cool thing, though, what I really like is, is one, two weapon options. You either can have... Um, actually, a total of three weapon choices, but it looks like only... Yeah, he can only have a power fist on one side, and then he could either have a twin link melt multi-melta or an assault cannon on the other side. 
really neat, but what the really cool thing about this is, is his arms are swappable with the Forge World arms. So you don't need to have him have these guys. You can buy one of the other Forge World weapons and throw it on there. So essentially, you're getting a nice, you're getting a cataphract, um, cataphracty, a contemptor dread that even though he only comes with some limited options, you can add more to him by simple per by making one simple online purchase out of that Forge World. Then we've got our dice. I have no clue what these dice do yet. I am going to assume like a hit, s miss, or something. I have no idea. Absolutely no clue what these dice do. Once I learn this board game and I find someone who will play it with me, we'll get a game in and I'll guys show you that. Be a lot of fun. Bases. All the bases. And it looks like... Yep, 32 mils and 40 mils. Get the Dreadnought stand. Then we got a deck of cards here. Looks like these are... I'm not going to open this just yet because, um... Don't want to, um... Don't know... Don't... Bleh. Don't want to start messing this up. I want to kind of... Because it's probably going to be a while before I touch this. So I want to keep everything as nice and compact as possible. Um, and I don't want to lose any of the cards, but it looks like they've got, st there's like the stat cards, got some damage cards here. Um, eh, what the heck, I'll open it up. Let me just get a, eh, a knight scissors here. So it looks like we've got, yep, we've got set of cards that are broken down. These look like the are, these are squad. These are like inf, um, data cards and then character cards. It looks like, yep, there's character cards on the here. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, the char So you got your different character cards. Um, and it looks like they have more information on the back of them, I guess, war gear options, squad compositions and such. Then we got command cards, which these cool ultramarine symbols on there if you're into ultramarines. Then we got some word bearer command cards. And it looks like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And it looks... Yeah, they have different... Um, different... Um, sort of looks like... Yeah, the just different card effects that have different effects on the um, game, depending on what you, depending on the result of the card that you draw. Then it looks like we got special damage cards for the Contemptor Dread, and say as we can see, it highlights the particular part of him that's damaged. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, and then description of what happens um, with him. Don't want to get too much into it because I don't want to reveal too much about what the game is. Because uh, no, GW isn't a fan of you revealing like, oh, you know, if you just reveal how everything works in their games sometimes. And then it looks like we got these are the tiles and tokens here. So it comes with one, two, three, four tiles. And oh, they actually come out pretty easily. They're double sided, so different terrain areas. I'm gonna assume those are wound counters. Probably some sort of special marks. Looks like barricade pieces. Got one like that. Got one like that. And it looks like different hallways and then like a command center like a power generator room here it looks like and like storage area so really cool uh, what i like is, is it actually is fairly detailed it reminds me a lot of the um zone mortalis um tiles you can get off of um forge world then we have a 
how to put your minis together instruction booklets as they usually give and then an I what this is cool identification on what each of the um, water transfers is on the sheet which is always good and then it tells you exactly who's supposed to be making up what formation so it looks like five terminators three special weapons and a squad versus the chaplain the contempt of dread and all of these guys so ultramarines clearly seem to be outnumbered they probably make it up for the fact that the terminators are probably pretty powerful in this game and then we've got the rule book i like that they went all out and made it look like a horse heresy book because and oh wow they even printed it with the same page format that's really clever gotta give them props on that it looks like the rule book is no bigger than the um than um what do you uh, give me a second um dread fleet so doesn't so it doesn't look like it'll be a really hard game to learn like i said i just really love the fact that they made this look like a horse heresy book which is pretty cool then we got our water transfers um Got the world bears here, the word bears here, and the um, and the ultramarines here. Probably just going to give this to one of my friends who actually plays both factions because I don't. And oh, this is cool. They actually give you little bags. I would guess for all the different markers in the game. That's really awesome because it makes life a whole lot easier than um. Like, I like it when games do that where they actually account for the fact that they don't put, like, they sa they save, they're saving money by making little, by putting little plastic bags instead of making, like, a form molded plastic tray that holds everything. So, I like the fact that they did that. That is really cool. So, now, this runs, now, this runs, I'm um, here in the U.S. 150. Honest and for truly. I think it's a bargain. You're getting a lot of stuff for the price. You're getting all these really cool, fine, finely detailed um, miniatures with a lot of options. Like, um, like what I like about this over the Space Hulk game is, is with Space Hulk you just get you get five, you just get a generic set of Terminators. So, you know, that's it. You know, there's I think an assault uh, flamer in there, a there's a flamer, a assault cannon, and you're stuck, and they're stuck the way that they are. And so, can't really do much with those units. But this box set, with the, um, you have all these different options. So even if you don't use, so even after you assemble the miniatures, you still have a bunch of bits in your bit bo bits box, so you can start throwing them into other tactical squads and such so it gives you a whole lot to play with for a board game on top of that a bunch of stuff for your regular 40k hobby or horse heresy hobby they clearly made this where they clearly designed this game to be someone's intro into either just a they they appealed it to the person who just wants a board game, but they appealed to the people who want just to add more units to their army for less for a smaller price, and they comboed it all together, which is phenomenal. I'm really, I think this is really well worth the um, cost that you're paying for it. So, what do you guys think about um, Betrayal at Cath? Are you excited for it? Are you going to play it for just the miniature? Are you buying it just for the miniatures? Are you actually going to give the game a try? Let us know in the comments, and if you haven't yet, like us, like this video, that way more people get to see it and get circulated. Subscribe to us, that way you get to see these videos as they come out. Check us out on Facebook for the latest news and information, and for more blogs and reviews, check out our website at fearlessgames.com. And thank you all for watching, and until next time, Fearless Gamers, take care.